Question number five, princeton diameter in a fully flexed head. So when the head gets into the pelvis, uh, if you see, if you, if you try and imagine if there's the abdomen and there's the pelvis and if the head is trying to get into the pelvis, uh, there's the baby and this the head is flexed. So based on this angle, the baby could also be deflexed or it could also be extended head into the pelvis. So if the head is extended and trying to get into the pelvis, because the head is extended like this, so if the head is extended and trying to get into the pelvis, then this part of the of the of the of the head, this part of the head is into the pelvis first. So this is known as a face presentation. If the head is straight, we know this part is getting to the pelvis, this is known as the brow. And if the head is flexed, then this part of the part of the presentation or the head is getting into the pelvis. That is the vertex. So when the head is fully flexed present diameter in a fully flexed head all of us know it is the suboccipital pragmatic so suboccipital pragmatic is the diameter of engagement in a case of fully flexed head in a vertex presenting part so this is 9.5 what else is 9.5 sub mento pragmatic is also 9.5 and the biparietal diameter is 9.5 so, three diameters of the fetal head are 9.5 suboccipital pragmatic, submentopragmatic, and bipedal diameter. So, answer to this is A.